Hello and welcome everyone joining me tonight for the stream. As you can see, we're back to Free Dino. Whether you're watching right now or sometime in the future, this could be pretty exciting uh, depending what we face. The list, as always, is in the description. I don't believe it changed from way back when, but we'll jump into things. Got some coffee tonight. Starting to snow. I was thinking of shoveling just before this, but I checked the weather, so... Anytime I have to shovel a little bit less, you know, that's fine by me. Oh, fantastic stuff right there. Drover the Mighty is going to be pretty good. We got our turn to play. A wide variety of stuff. Um... Probably go Highland Forest, just so Rootbound Craig can come into play untapped. And hopefully we draw a third land, but if not, you know, Evolving Wilds, gonna get the job done. Ooh, wow. Well. Vitor, how's it going? Back to Free Dino, and uh, I think we're saying goodbye to Drover of the Mighty, unfortunately. Oh, interesting. I would have expected Drover the Mighty to help slow us down, that sort of thing. Or they just have removal for him. Okay, they do not. Well, I'll keep Calney Ambush there just in case there's something we have to fight. Might as well get that Thrashing Brontodon. A little bit bigger than ranging raptors, so that feels like the better play. I haven't seen any creatures yet that ranging raptors would block, or creatures that would block ranging raptors. Hmm. Maybe they weren't expecting dinos. Uh, someone in bronze possibly hasn't ever faced them, I would imagine. Mind and box, keep an open mind. Oh, well, drown in the lock, that's not going to be too good. But nothing much to fight, so let's get this land. Hopefully we get closer to Carnage Tyrant. We'll certainly take out Narset just so they get one less thing. I think that's pretty good. Should do the trick. Definitely very different from my main account. Not nearly as aggressive, but this is free dino. We can get things done. You can find success without spending a dime. But again, I would recommend at least getting the welcome bundle. And if you are interested enough in dinos just dumping it all into excellent packs maybe a little bit rivals of excellent but certainly excellent Ooh, that's too bad we got plenty of bodies hopefully they don't sweep us with something at the very least they don't have too much in the graveyard i could see drown and lock yes getting rid of drover the mighty since they did have two Hmm. Okay, we're getting there. Gonna be rough next turn. Not uh, a whole lot I'd like to draw. I would prefer to be at five lands right now, potentially get to six for Carnage Tyrant. But I think we can still make it work. Not too bad. Well, actually, that could be kind of bad. Hopefully, they use some damage based removal on the ranging raptors. Croaksa. Oh, that is a little bit painful. 
Hmm. Ooh, wow. More lands. Good stuff. Keep applying a little bit of pressure. Hope they don't discard that Carnage Tyrant. Uh, I think there could be a good possibility that they do that. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's nasty. Well, Commune, you know, it's, uh, it's not a land. That is something. We'll go Marauding Raptor, cross our fingers that they don't kill it, or we draw a sixth land next turn. Man, I'm really missing Rotting Regisaur. He's become a good buddy nowadays. Just faced, what did I face? Played in Platinum after the reset just tonight, and uh, I lost to a 5C niv miss it. Uh, rough stuff there. And then I actually faced a Fires of Invention, just guy, Fires of Invention, playing a couple spells for free each turn. That was pretty difficult, the first game, at least. And then I got them in the second one, and they just missed their land drops in the third game and uh, got it done. And I needed to get a bit more gold for those gems from the daily deals today. Yeah, Carnage Tyrant hopefully is pretty threatening. I hope that's rough enough for the opponent. Hey, I was expecting they were holding something up. Otherwise, I imagine they would have conceded right there. Looks like they basically have to play Kroxa to save themselves. Yes, that's what they're doing. But, you know, Rampaging, Menace, as long as they only have one creature, swim past them, which Rampaging would have been... Never mind, never mind, we discard it. Oof, Drover, well, you know, it's another creature also. Now that I think about it, I'm missing one layer of the Hydra, which perhaps I'm going to redeem a rare wild card for. If anyone watching hasn't redeemed for Lair of the Hydra, Den of the Bugbear, one of those man lands, definitely highly recommend. Now the question is, swing with Carnage, get one damage on him, potentially draw something next turn, but possibly lose Drover. Ah, I think I'm going to do it. If they have no creatures, they can't get rid of Drover. Dino. That would do the trick. But it could be risky. I think I have Shifting Ceratops. I don't know. It's been so long. Ooh, okay, that's... That's alright. Unholy Heat is... Certainly fantastic. Oh, they're escaping Kroxa again, man. Really wish I had Death Gorge Scavenger. That would be good right about now. Or just exiling all their stuff. Their graveyard. Oh, charge. Well, hmm. Not quite gonna cut it. Hopefully, um, he lives. Okay. Well, you know, we could, uh, Maybe get something next turn that can deal three damage at haste. Another charging monster soar would be pretty decent. As long as that Dragon's Rage Chandler doesn't fly. Which I don't think it's going to. Still. Ooh, we're not going to get it. Ah, well, you know, that is how it goes. Not quite the best start, but uh, we'll, we'll bring it around. We'll bring it around. Relic of Progenitus. I mean, 100%. That thing's coming in. Uh, they do have some small creatures. The Dragon's Rage Chandlers, where I think Flame Sweep, Vampire's Vengeance, going to be good. Also, Brittle Blast, getting rid of stuff, but can't get rid of Kroxa. Although we can play Brittle Blast if... Croaks is going to die, something like that. If they play it for two, we respond with Brittle Blast, and then it won't go to the graveyard. So that actually, let's bring that in. Hmm, now what to cut? They do like killing stuff. May not be a whole lot to fight, so I think Ravenous, Pursuit, Growing Rights, County Ambush. 
Garuk. The Great Henge. Uh, I kind of want to leave the Great Henge in. Nah, we'll cut it. We'll cut it. Stuff dies against a deck like this, or it just gets discarded, which, I mean, that would work pretty fantastic for Hazaret, the Fervent, which, man, been doing some fantastic work on the main account. Hmm. I say, yeah, cut those sweepers just in case, you know, they might not get the Dragon's Rage channelers. Those sweepers might be doing not a whole lot for us. Of course, there is ranging raptors pinging might get us some lands potentially, but they might not get their channelers. Then it wouldn't be much use. Relic of Progenitus is 100%. Pretty exciting. Gonna help. Ooh, we uh, that's that's rough. That's not gonna do it. I mean, two lands, certainly. That'd be pretty exciting. Oh, infinite, infinitely better. Uh, probably sending Carnage Tarrant to the bottom. Highland Forest, turn one, uh, turn two. Marauding Raptor, of course. Uh, might be nice. Would have been nice. Potentially Relic of Progenitus. Turn one, but uh, I don't think we'll need it. We'll see what they get in the graveyard. Definitely Relic at the very least. Turn three, after we play our Ancient Ziggurat there. We would be able to go Rampaging for Asadon and Relic. And they'll probably have stuff in the graveyard at that point, so... Well... No, it costs, yes, okay. So it costs one to play, it costs one to uh, do its ability. So chances are we may have to wait. Ooh, wow, well, yeah, Relic is, uh, it's going away, I would imagine. It's either Relic or Marauding. Which do they not like? Yes. I expect uh, Relic... It's very threatening against them. Hopefully, Marauding survives, but at the very least, we still get to go Rampaging for Asadon next turn if Marauding does die. Oh, yep. Ranging Raptors. Hopefully, they don't counter it. Kill Marauding. They do. Okay. Hopefully, they're stuck with lots of damage base removal, and Ranging Raptors will potentially get us a land when they try to kill it. Croaks that. It's got to be Charging Monstrosaur, I think. Yep. Yeah, Rampaging Frostodon. I like the better aggression pain whenever stuff comes into play. Possibly flying past uh, if they only have one creature. Or if they have a couple of Dragon's Rage Chandlers that are both 1-1, one, one, that'd be alright. I'm a little worried about going this Ranging Raptors. feel like they have a sweeper that is maybe not damage based, but we'll try it. Get another body. Hope for the best. They may just be wanting to kill Rampaging or wait for the ping to deal some damage to us and get a slight bit more value. It's all about timing, maximizing the value you get. Interesting. Drown in the lock to kill. I would have thought they'd kill Rampaging Frostodon. Hmm. Nothing to discard. Pretty fantastic stuff. Hopefully they have some thought seizes, that sort of thing. I don't think thrashing is going to do a whole lot for us here, so I think I'll take my chances. Potentially get another land, get closer to that Carnage Tyrant. Hopefully at some point tonight we finish him off with a Rampaging Bronthodon. I mean, that's just always a thing of beauty. Fantastic uh, being a backup 
Galta. I guess Rampaging Brontodon could be thought of as the Prince. Or maybe the third, fourth in line, you know, way back when. Never going to be king, but still can do some pretty nice stuff. Hmm. And that was, uh, that was rough. Well, we can play Carnage Tyrant if we get it. Perhaps I should be cutting some lands now. Yeah. Well, hopefully we get something that is... Well, it's ranging raptors, yeah. So certainly, we're going to block. Don't want to take six. Get an extra land. Hopefully that helps us get a creature coming up here that can maybe help. Well, you know, Huntmaster could could potentially live. Let's uh, cross the fingers, cross the claws. Really don't want to take six. Yeah, I think we just got a block. Croaksa attacking each time, dealing three still is rough. Dealing three and then if we took six, it's nine. Oh, boy. Well, you know, that is sometimes how it goes. Free Dino. Couldn't quite get it done there, but we got some tech. Some days it's rough, but I'm having a good time. Hopefully you guys having a good time. All right, let's jump right back into it. Could potentially redeem for another pack there. Uh, possibly some tech there. We got three uncommon, one rare, one mythic rare. So there is potential for options not a lot but i never said free dino was easy but if you enjoy it you can get there and if you have you know five bucks to spare it certainly helps kickstart things but sometimes is there's just not a lot to do oh yeah certainly i love the looks of that turn one colony ambush going to be fantastic potentially get ranging raptors and we'll go the fantastic amazing double marauding into ranging get two basics swing with a big marauding what's not to love about that that's certainly one of my favorites but it looks like um, mono red something certainly got to get marauding raptor down Hopefully it survives. I feel pretty positive, like it might. Nope. First pot of the night, uh, Angelo. Night. Hmm. Pretty much the same message, it looks like. Von Rent. I imagine they have something that deals a little bit of damage. So we certainly don't want to block Goblin Javelin near. On the off chance they do have something that deals too. That ape, that's quite all right. Still, if they, okay, they didn't play, oh. I was hoping for it. And we got it. Man, this is good, hopefully. We don't draw even more lands next turn, but, you know, that sometimes happens. Massive. Fantastic ramp. One green, two basic lands. This is pretty cheap, pretty decent. Somebody starting out, you know, that's very good value. And you get a buff. Unfortunately, we don't get to attack with the one marauding that just came out, but that's still very, very, very good. Kind of want to just go the other ranging raptors on the off chance they kill one of the marauding but see if they attack with that javelin here uh, certainly don't want to take six so that's quite all right if they're completely open next turn that's going to be good ranging plus rampaging potential potentially something else 
could get very, very nasty. Ouch. Well, yeah, yeah. I expected maybe one of them would die, so that's quite all right. We'll see what Commune gets us, just because even if it's a land, we can still go rampaging and ranging. Oh, Carnage Tyrant. Yes, good buddy. You know, we're going that. Instead, use up all the available mana, get something massively threatening. I would expect tough for this opponent to deal with. Yeah, seems like a somewhat basic red deck. Carnage Tyrant is going to be a headache. But certainly, Mono Red, some variation of that. That's great, easy, pretty straightforward for somebody starting out with to do. Okay. Carnage was threatening and menacing enough. Cheap things. Uh, we didn't see too many creatures, just that goblin javelinier, but certainly Flame Sweep, Vampire's Vengeance. I think that's going to be pretty fantastic. I feel like maybe Snakeskin Veil could be good getting a little bit extra damage. They got a lot of single target removal, I would imagine. So that could do the trick. Ravenous Pursuit, fighting things, but our sweepers are going to be more valuable here. When you, Whenever you see small stuff, bring Flame Sweep, Vampire's Vengeance, things like that, uh, depending what you've opened, what you've redeemed, but certainly... That's going to be good, especially paired with Ranging Raptors. Sometimes, hopefully, soon you get Ripjaw Raptor. I'd certainly recommend that, but as it is right now, it's looking pretty good. Hmm. Growing Rights. I think I might just completely remove Growing Rights of Itlamok. Not doing a whole lot in. There isn't really much to sink all that mana into, so... Yeah. I guess that can go. We'll cut a Vivian. I like Garouk and Vivian, just in case, you know, maybe we get both of them. We can give Trample on something and just fly past those little creatures that they have, or hopefully sweep them with Flame Sweep, uh, Vampire's Vengeance, that sort of thing. I don't know about this. I mean, it's fantastic, pretty fantastic, if Huntmaster survives. Island Forest, as always, going to be lovely. Javelinier again, so we'll see how many creatures they get here. May have, or may have been better to mulligan a little more aggressively for a sweeper. Hmm. Ooh, I think uh, our good buddy Huntmaster is going to kick the bucket. But we'll try, you know. If he doesn't, it's going to be good. At the very least, we'll still go Thrashing Brontodon next turn. Potentially something else, but mana-wise, we get to Charging Monster Soar eventually. It would be nice if Huntmaster did survive, because then we could go Temple of Abandon next turn, still be left with two green, and be able to go Thrashing Brontodon. Okay, so, looking for that sweeper. Hopefully. Certainly thrashing, I think, will be nice. At least being able to block and kill something. Fort Toughness is very decent, which... Yeah. If you don't know what to redeem, thrashing Brontodon, certainly. Pretty fantastic. Pretty decent. What does that do? So it makes a goblin. Create a treasure. Hmm. We'll get rid of somebody. Glob Globlin. Goblin. Javelinier. Might as well. I hope they don't have... Okay, good. They didn't have something that deals two damage. But... Temple of Abandon, I think so. Yeah. 
Oof, count the ambush. Well, I'd rather get to a sweeper a little bit sooner, so we'll send that to the bottom. Get the hunt master. Hope things work out. Keep back thrashing Brontodon for blocking some of their guys. Don't want to go too low, but... Yeah, would be nice. Charging Monster Sword next turn, but also Carnage Tyrant would be great because then the following turn we can go the Great Henge for two. Ooh, so it's just uh, Mono Red Goblins, which very, very good, very nasty stuff. They certainly won't attack with the Goblin Chieftain. We'll block this Goblin Shaman if they do attack with that. Yeah, it would be good next turn. Some sort of sweeper. We would take out everything. Uh, when we take out the Chieftain, everything else drops by one toughness. They've been dealt to, so they would all die. Lovely stuff there. If we can start gaining life with the Great Henge, that certainly should help us stabilize quite nicely. Oh, yeah. 100% Carnage Tarrant. We'll hold things back. At the very least, I mean, certainly, I would expect Carnage Tarrant to be sticking around, but... Looks like they're gonna probably copy the Goblin Chieftain, so actually, things are not looking so great. Yeah, this might not be good. Might not be too bad. They do have to sacrifice if they make another one. Goblin Trash Master, that is not good. Ouch. So, I said maybe I should have mulliganed a little more aggressively for a sweeper. You can see there how it would have been pretty fantastic that previous turn, but now things are out of range, unfortunately. We could potentially kill reflection of Kiki Jiki, which certainly would have been nice. Ooh, that's going to uh, do it. 3, 12, yeah. That's alright. We know what we need to do. We know what they're all about. I wrongly assumed it was just some basic, basic red deck, but that's not the case. They had some nasty goblins. They got things going. So, sweeper, priority one. It's going to be good. Ooh, I don't know. kind of good. Potentially could work if we had to commune with dinosaurs. Don't be afraid if you see a forest commune and some of the two drops. Turn one should be all right when you search for your second land. As long as you have plenty of sources of red or even if it's green, you still get to go something like Drover of the Mighty. So it, it can work out in some cases. Yep, that's definitely better. Turn one, well, maybe not Colony Ambush. Could be nice fighting. Hmm. Yeah, you know what, we'll hold Colony Ambush back. Actually, I kind of like Great Hedge. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hold Colony Ambush back just because we can go Otepec Hunt Master, turn two with unclaimed territory here. Turn three, still be able to go ranging raptors for two. Our land for the turn could be Colony Ambush. But hopefully we get a sweeper. I still, again, maybe should have mulliganed a little more for it. But seeing Commune is kind of sad. Would have been nice maybe going Colony Ambush, but, you know, didn't know what we draw. Try our best, as always. Always room for improvement. A shock, I think. Hopefully not. Would be rough not being able to go ranging raptors next turn.
Hopefully it's not something like Skewer the Critics. That would be pretty rough. Any day now. Oh, okay, Rigging Runner. Haven't seen that guy in quite some time, but definitely has to be colony territory. That's good. Phew. Luckily, we got it. If they do attack with stuff, hopefully Ranging Raptors can block, give us another land, potentially get to go charging Monstrosaur next turn, which should be pretty good headache for the opponent. Certainly we'll get a second source of green, always something to be aware of, keep aware of seeing what's in your hand. Something like the Great Henge, of course, but there is a fair bit of dinos that do take two green mana, so always a good idea just to at least get two sources of that. I think I could see him attacking with the Rigging Runner here, which will block with Ranging Raptors. That's all right. Technically, if you think about this, for two, we search for a basic land, and we stopped ourselves taking three. That is a strictly better rampant growth. If you think about it that way. Oh, Ancient Ziggurat. Well, we can't go Great Henge. We can still go Charging Monstrosaur after Communing with Dinosaurs here, so we'll see what it gets us. Marauding Raptor, I do like that. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's always beneficial. If you can go Commune, but still go a pretty nice play for the turn, I would highly recommend something like that. If they double block, Goblin Chieftain and the Tin Street Dodger, I would be quite happy taking out the Chieftain because as you saw previous game, things get nasty real quick, especially when it's something like Mono Red Goblins. Hopefully Charging Monster Store sticks around and we are able to go Great Henge next turn and draw a creature, but at the very least, gaining two life each turn should slow things down quite nicely. Oh, that's all right. Still make it work. Hopefully they don't have another Lord in hand, but where there's one Goblin Chieftain, there's... Well, okay, it's not another Lord. We're safe. Even if it was a Chieftain, it still wouldn't be so bad, especially if we draw a Sweeper at some point. Or draw another land next turn and just go Great Henge for 7, which is quite painful, but definitely let's hold things back. Oh, the Raid Bombardment. That is not going to be good. So we basically really need a sweeper coming up yeah sometimes it's uh it's rough thrashing brown to dawn maybe to take out raid bombardment but we gotta start doing something quick here oh that is also not so good first strike trample uh, interesting Maybe that's something I should consider. Hmm. Well, we'll certainly take out the Goblin Gang Leader. I mean, I'm quite alright with that. Oh, we got it. I was thinking maybe we just never would, but we got it. So, question is, yeah, I'll just attack with everything. I would imagine they double block to kill the Huntmaster, perhaps, but or just take it okay. So we got a little bit more value from Huntmaster there, dealing one damage, since I'm quite certain I'm going to be going Flame Sweep this turn, especially if they go a Lord here. I wish 
it would show the phases. Huh. Interesting. I was going to put a stop, but it's not letting me. Oh, okay, there's a stop. On my main account, it does show them along the bottom here, which... It's weird. It's not showing it. Well, let's just kill things. Uh, they could have something else, but I'm alright with that. Oh, Vampire's Vengeance as a backup. Fantastic stuff. I mean, back-to-back, -back, Flame Sweep, Vampire's Vengeance. I think that's going to do the trick. Yes, that is definitely, definitely rough. Whew. Glad the sweepers are showing up. Helping out. Man, that's too bad. Another land could have played the Great Henge, but we got Rampaging for Sladon, which can be a headache against something like Goblins. So again, life gain, but also because I think Goblins are fairly budget, fairly basic, and straightforward to play. Again, something like Rampaging Ferocidon, uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, chipping away, certainly, Goblin Gathering, it's going to do the trick, uh, and we just Vampire's Vengeance, likely, especially if they play something else here. But they probably just die, I would think. Oof, already up to four viewers. We're only, well, we're a little ways into the stream, but that's good. Maybe Free Dino breaks the all-time record. That'd be pretty fantastic. Certainly, yeah, Vampire's Vengeance. They can't do anything. They're just uh, dead. Good game. Alrighty. Whew. So the sweepers, I mean... I think I may just redeem for another flame sweep, potentially Vampire's Vengeance, but you saw there, very key, especially starting out early on. People want to play something simple, they want to slam fun creatures, little creatures, it does good stuff. Oh, we could get to potentially opening two packs tonight. But definitely, I am missing Ripjaw Raptor, which you can imagine. Ripjaw Raptor, two, two green for a four, five, whenever it's dealt damage, draw a card. You can see right there how something like that was just the bee's knees. Fantastic. Now this, right here, should be all right. We're on the draw, so we could get a third land, but certainly Evolving Wilds land for the first turn. We have something that can come into play on tap, so plenty of two drops and two Carnage Tyrants, which is pretty ex- Ooh. Oh, we could be shedding some tears this match. Reinforced Ronin, nasty stuff, but uh, at least it's not unclaimed territory, so we're not showing them quite what we're all about. I huh. feel like going to forest just in case maybe we draw a dual land, something like that. Doesn't make a big deal, but certainly Craig Crown Pathway. Hopefully we don't have to use it right away. Man, that, uh, that is nasty, nasty stuff. Kind of tempted to just go Marauding Raptor because it could block a reinforced Ronin. Also Marauding Raptor could just simply die here, but I think we'll go Marauding. Hope they don't kill it. Ooh, okay. Oh boy, this is uh, this is nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. My gosh. Well, if a sweeper was good, the last match against goblins, it's uh, it's going to be good against this. Hopefully, we get it early enough, take out some of those reinforced Ronin or. Perhaps game two, they just don't draw this, but ooh, uh, nasty. I don't like it. Ooh. That is uh, good. 
I think we may just be dead here. Now the question is, can we survive somehow, some way? Potentially. Marauding Raptor. Ranging Raptors for one to get a land. Block them. Maybe get another land. Or they could just kill us with uh, some sort of burn spell. But we'll see what we can get done. Oh, hey, no, we're not attacking with Huntmaster. At the very least, they do have to discard a card, but those reinforced Ronin did the trick, that's for sure. Ooh, this is nasty. That's all right. Discarding some stuff. Uh, I'm thinking Carnage Tyrant might be nice. We're a little ways off from it. Yeah, and we do have a second one, so. But we'll stop at least one reinforced Ronin. Huntmaster has to block the headliner, of course. Now Vivian, Arcbow Ranger, put two counters on Ranging Raptors. Could be something. Would be able to survive that Rakdos headliner, which might be nice. Could also potentially, uh, no, I think we gotta go Vivian, Arcbow Ranger, put the two counters on Ranging Raptors. At my side. And hope that does the trick. My, my, how you've grown. Hope they don't kill ranging raptors. But a 4-5, whenever it's dealt damage, getting us land. Very nice. Oh boy, this is, uh... Interesting. Oh, they want to take out Vivian. Hmm, well... Get rid of that headliner, certainly. Ah, I've endured worse. I imagine they'll get back uh, potentially the Rakdos headliner with Luris. Maybe the Adanto Vanguard, but we gotta do something quick. Kindly ambush to fight. Could be nice. Hmm. Kind of like Drover of the Mighty plus something else, maybe. We'll, we'll see what Commune gets us. Rampaging. Uh, that's going to be rough. We don't want to play that. Because then uh, we probably won't want to play any more creatures. We're already at three. Charging Monster Saur. Very difficult for the opponent to deal with. Might as well spread them out between both of them. We're fit enough to survive. Certainly not attack, but it could be over here. Okay. Well, they don't have anything left in the graveyard, which is pretty nice. Oh, and Charging Monstasaur will be able to take out Kroxa. So yeah, we'll send Drover packing. Take out Kroxa with Charging Monstasaur. Oh, and Ravenous Pursuit, that might be nice to add a, a big plus to Carnage Tarrant, but... Yes, Kroxa. Gotta send him packing. Carnage Tyrant. No, uh, I'm, I'm gonna hold Colony Ambush back just in case we could double up and just really go to town next turn, killing things. So, what might they do next turn? Luris. Croaksa for two. 
make us discard something. Want to attack with? Could attack with ranging raptors and charging monstrosaur. Nah, I'll play just a little safe, just in case they got various bodies, something. But call the ambush. I think we're going to discard that. Go ravenous pursuit on Luris. Yeah, that's going to be good. Although if we don't have any creatures, Ravenous Pursuit not going to be a whole lot of benefit. But, yeah, we'll still give it a colony ambush. Oh, Charging Monster Sword to get the job done. Yes, please. Good buddy. Man, that is a lot of damage. That, uh, is going to do the trick. Certainly. Whew. I was almost ready to pack it in there, but we stuck with it, and we got it done against... Man, that was rough. That was rough. Certainly, certainly I was ready to pack, thing in, pack things in. Hmm. But, yes, the sweepers. Brittle Blast. Yeah. Makes sense. Relic. 100%. Yeah, uh, maybe Snakeskin Veil. Vale. Oh, Dylan Dryden, what a comeback is right. Oh, I didn't think we had an out there. But as you can see, free dinos can get it done if you stick with it. Oh, I mean, I, I would say just stick with it. You learn a whole lot if you, well, hopefully you learn a, learn a lot when you stick with things. You figure out how you can use things differently. You may still lose, potentially, but... When you get wins like that, it's sweet. And it reinforces that sticking with it does the trick. But yes, the sweepers hopefully come in handy here. They stop that nasty. Well, no, I kind of like Great Hedge now. I feel like we probably could drop Huntmaster just because I feel like he's he dies to damage-based stuff at 2... Fatal push, that sort of thing. But yeah, man, that was that was tight. Very, very close. If we didn't have any cards in hand, they play Kroxa, we automatically would have taken three damage and dead right there. But we're not playing the usual dinos, rotting Regis or that sort of thing, where we certainly get down to one card or oftentimes no cards. But I'll keep that. Do have the play of Drover for turn two, so hopefully he sticks around, or we get a third. Le Ooh, authority of the consoles, that's gonna do some work. But we do have Thrashing Brontodon, so that could be nice taking it out. I've always hated this thing. I uh, probably about a week ago, a little ways back, um, I did face quite a few Azorius control decks that were using authority of the consoles. Something for three though. It is a little unfortunate. Ranging Raptors coming into play tapped. We're not able to block that Dread Horde. But ooh. Double Dread Horde. Well, I don't know if we're coming back from this. So we got a potential for. I like ranging again. I think we'll be blocking a lot of stuff. Certainly not attacking. Hopefully we can get rid of both Dread Horde Butchers here. Yes, that is what we're doing. Don't want to let them get out of control too much. We will be getting land here. Actually, could potentially get two if they target that again. Yes. Oh my goodness, friends. That is just... Well, they don't want to target it. Yeah, okay, right for the face. I think. Oh no, they did target... Okay, well... I'm all right with that. Plenty of basics. Ranging Raptors ramp is what it is all about. Oof. Yeah, we'll just slam a Carnage turn next turn. Slam another one. Start attacking with them. 
would have been nice going charging monster Sor, which I may have gone if it didn't come into play tapped with authority of the consoles there. Croxa? Uh, not too bad. I think we'll discard charging just because it does come into play tapped. But they are stumbling. Oh, there it is. Thrashing Brontodon. Uh, get rid of that authority of consoles. It is pretty rough, but I'll just take it out now. We still have two left to go Drover the Mighty. Coming into play untapped. Fantastic. Doing a nice chunk of damage there. Luckily, the opponent is stumbling in the land department, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, maybe it's payback. We persevered the previous game, and now we're bringing them pain and suffering. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that is... Good stuff. A little unfortunate that we don't have winning. Uh, inked Blessing, I think that we might be. I don't see how they can get out of two Carnage Tyrant and Relic of Progenitus. Get them to exile something. Certainly it's not going to be Kroxa, but uh, I think we're winning here. I don't see what they could do even at three mana. To stop Carnage. Yeah, that's that's not happening. Oh, there we go. Perseverance in that match pays off. We're flying up. Oh, bronze too. My goodness, we're gonna be mythic. Uh, maybe, maybe this month. We'll see. Uh, still nice playing dinos, free dinos. Yeah. Some of you guys asking for free dinos, so uh, it's here tonight. Still. Have to cast white or blue spells. I don't even think I'll ever do it on this account, so I'll just leave it there. I don't play this free dinos or free accounts too much. I really like to prioritize my main account, but it is still enjoyable. And, you know, again, somebody starting out with this deck starting out with magic, showing them how they can possibly succeed and potentially succeed with something like dinos. Could also go some other tribal deck, merfolk, that sort of thing. Lots of fun to be had there. Even dogs and cats. Both of them have a fair bit of support. But I think if you wanted to go one of those two, I'd probably go with some sort of cat tribal deck. I think it has a little bit more support. Especially with Amon, Ket, that sort of thing. They, a lot of stuff there. So if you like dogs or cats, look into that. Hmm. Having a hard time finding an opponent after stomping them that match. Double Carnage Tyrant. Man, that is... It's going to be a headache for anybody. Woodjit Wood 5. No idea. Oh, playing first. Oh, we're keeping that instant. Don't even. Oh, you talked to Shield Maiden. Told her about my win. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll go Highland Forest turn one. Anytime there's two tapped lands, something like Colony Ambush, probably better to just hold it back in case. You know, you need it later on, especially when you're starting off with game one. Don't know what they have. Might be good. You may need to fight something. So, that, but this certainly is looking very nice. Uh, yeah, we'll just go the best we can. Marauding, thrashing. We'll give Marauding Raptor haste, and hopefully they don't do anything to us, but... Uh, this looks like a pretty decent start. Certainly we could fight something next turn with Colony Ambush here. Especially if it is the nasty Scurry Oak. Brutal Cathar. Oh. Well, we can uh, just kill that guy. Okay. Commune with Dinosaurs, get us a uh, land for the turn. Rockfall Veil, vale. 100%. Oh, Ancient Ziggurat. Oh, man. 
Makes me wish ancient ziggurat was unclaimed territory or secluded courtyard. But you can see right here how it kind of doesn't work out for us. That's all right. That's all right. Can't play hunt master, so definitely marauding raptor. Apply as much pressure as possible before they likely answer some of our other stuff here. Yeah, that's also something to remember. If you see them doing stuff, starting to do stuff with your creatures, try and be as aggressive as possible. It's worked out for me in the past. Hmm. Oh, more Marauding Raptor. Uh, well, certainly we can go Marauding Raptor with the Ancient Ziggurat. We'll be left with three mana that we can actually use for calling the Ambush here. We will be able to take out Yasharan, which... That'd be pretty fantastic. I think I'll attack with everything. Um, Yasharan's probably going to block Thrashing Brontodon. I would imagine. So if that's the case, we'll fight Yasharan with one of the Marauding Raptors. Maybe. Actually, no. Call the ambush. Thrashing Brontodon. Fight Yasharan. No. Nah. Let me think about this. What's the best way to go about this? Call the ambush. The marauding raptor that is unblocked fights the brutal cow. Maybe that wasn't so good. <laughs> eh. I wanted to preserve marauding raptor, get rid of a body. That's the main thinking, but... Yasharan could be a headache. I certainly don't expect them to attack with it here. Hopefully we get something like Charging Monster Sword next turn, Carnage Tyrant, that sort of thing. Ooh, that is, well, certainly brutal. Okay, you know, Rampaging Frostodon is something. Could help chip away. They are at five, so might be able to make something happen. Certainly swing with Marauding. Hopefully they don't have a second Yasharn in hand. But we're able to go Huntmaster here. So that actually does work out in our favor. Something to keep in mind. If you got that Huntmaster sitting in hand, perhaps it could just give you a little bit of a push to be a bit more aggressive with that Marauding Raptor. You know, maybe it's not always the best trade, but you take out something like we took out Yasharn which now allowed us to go hunt master here depending what we draw give it haste next turn maybe uh, get things done but hopefully they don't do anything against rampaging frostodon yes another brutal certainly is right oh the glass casket uh, that's to be expected oh yeah well we don't have five so Shedding a tear, unfortunately. But hopefully we draw a fifth land next turn and uh, they don't do something to Huntmaster, but I think that's going to happen. Revealing another... Okay. Ah. Really makes me wish for that Ripjaw. Would have been... Would be... Quite fantastic here. Stop some of the aggression from Moon Rage Brute. Sky Sovereign, of course, isn't going to ping something like, hey, that's a turn behind. Uh, is there any way we can get out of this? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, we'll wait one more turn just in case, you know, we find something but it looks like that's gonna probably be it if moon rage brute could be 
flipped, that sort of thing. It would be lovely taken out. Well, okay. Uh, yikes. That's all right. Brutal, to say the least. Let's see what we draw. Well, that is uh, not going to do it. It's all right, though. That's all right. Took down a pretty nasty uh, Rakdos deck previously, but Flame Sweep, Vampire's Vengeance, Brittle Blast. I like it. Not a whole lot of graveyard stuff going on. Mass Vandal, actually, now that I think about it, exiling artifacts or enchantments. Yes, please. Late game land came in uh, a little too late, unfortunately. Some fighting stuff, but I think the removal of sweepers is going to be better in this case. Certainly keeping Thrashing Brontodon in. The package of Thrashing Brontodon and Mass Vandal I think should be pretty decent being able to take out a lot of their artifacts. Uh, one Carnage. Right. Hopefully, maybe, potentially, they get a couple Brutal Cathars. One of our Sweepers takes out two of them. Then we get those creatures back. Especially if they exile one of our Otepic Hunt Masters. You know, protects it for us from a Sweeper. But that's still not good. Okay, that's going to have to do it. But yeah, Brutal Cathar, Exiling, Otepic Hunt Master, saves it from our own sweepers. That's, that's all right. Sometimes. I do like charging Monstrosaur, though. Uh... Nah, we're going to send them hacking. Hope for the best. No Glass Casket. Or portable hole. I could see portable hole. Ooh, okay, that's actually could be very good. All right, cross your fingers for me, Huntmaster. Lit. Oh, he lives. Wow, this is getting good. Getting good as long as we see some more creatures, of course. But I mean, as you've seen tonight, sometimes you get flooded. Quite all right. Hopefully they don't have some sort of sweepers going on. Okay, to, to be expected. Oh, good, good. Rampaging, hasty. Certainly Brutal Cathar isn't going to block ranging. All right, crossing the fingers there, good stuff. Uh... Not too bad. Rampaging, chipping away. If they ever did choose to gain four life while well, they can't, because it just wouldn't make sense. A Garuk or Vivian would be nice next turn. Oh, the flame sweep. Okay, we got options. I say we just attack with everything. Huntmaster. Huh. Night of the Autumn, I would imagine, is going to block somebody, taking it within range of being killed with Flame Sweep here. Always something to keep in mind, especially if Night of the Autumn blocks Ranging Raptors. We're going to get two basic lands from that interaction, which is just lovely. Hopefully taking out as much as possible. Hopefully Rampaging for Asadon goes unblocked, so we at least have that plus Marauding Raptor, after we kill the Brutal Cathar here. Okay. Well, certainly, Night of the Autumn. Guess it doesn't make a whole lot of difference whether we cast rampaging ferocidon or what am i thinking cast flame sweep 
right now. Sometimes you do want something like your enraged dino to get a ping first, especially if the creature blocking it would die to flame sweep. You're not going to get those two lands, but we'll let everything through. Oh no, this is just not good. There we go. Hopefully that does the trick. Always nice, at least replacing your sweeper with a basic land, drawing a card, something like that. Pretty fantastic. Carnage Tyrant next turn, possibly. Oh, lands. Well, don't exactly want that. Yeah, certainly. Nice play. Thank you very much. Uh, sometimes it works out, does the trick. Hmm. I would imagine Yasharn going to block Marauding Raptor. Yeah, we'll just play it safe. Hold things back. Maybe make them think... We got something nasty in hand, a nasty, nasty Craig Crown pathway. Oh, well, that's still not quite doing it. Would be nice if we did have a sweeper we could attack, um, Yasharn. We would be able to take out because either one, ranging or marauding, would deal two to it, bringing it in range of... Oh, hey, whoa. No, no. I was saying we could attack. We don't want to attack. That's not looking so good. You can see maybe double blocking. Huh. Actually, I kind of just want to block ranging raptors. Get a land. Hopefully helps us get a creature. Will be nice having Primal Might. Uh, next card. Uh, charge Dino. Charging Monster Soar. Hopefully... Oh, okay, you know, uh, Brittle Blast, that is potentially pretty good. Uh, we'll keep that land there. Hmm. Kind of just want to kill you, Sharn. Attack. They would be swinging for, well, we're at full life, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah, Yasharn. Let's kill him. Attack with Marauding Raptor. Hopefully they don't give it indestructible, hexproof, something like that. Snakeskin Veil would be rough. Maybe they let this two through. I don't imagine. They'll probably block with the cat. Oh. Shedding a tear. I forgot about the man land, so, uh, well, the next card wasn't a charging monster soar, and it's going a little downhill here. Of course, if we had flame sweep there, it would have been, uh, that's all right. Sometimes you cross your fingers, you cross your claws, and, uh, bad things still happen, but good things are bound to happen eventually. I don't like cats. In real life, but right now, uh, I don't like cats. Well, that is going to do it. Yes. That's alright. Pretty rough. Lots of lands. Lands we didn't really need, unfortunately. So maybe I could see taking some tweaks if possible. Come on, charge dinos. Um, it unfortunately did not happen for us. But that's all right. Some hits, some misses. 
glad we did have that fantastic game against Rakdos. Lovely, lovely stuff there. Showed the potential, again, of free dinos, depending how you play. But uh, I think uh, deck could use some updates. Cats, cat in a box. Uh, send the cat packing to somewhere else, that's for sure. But I think I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Do have to get up early tomorrow morning to shovel some snow. It's not snowing too bad right now, but uh, I will have to get up earlier. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed, as always. There is room for improvement. It was a good time. Redeem some packs coming up here. Hopefully get some nice new additions for free dino. And whether you're watching right now or later on, I'll see you next time. Probably tomorrow. Yeah. Start climbing the ladder on my main account again. Get to Mythic. Hopefully a little bit sooner. But yes, thanks for watching.